Happy Monday, everyone. I'm so excited to share with you this story and lesson. And this one comes from my beloved K9, Oliver Felberg, who unfortunately is no longer with me. But this lesson can serve us all. So I hope you enjoy the story. One afternoon, a few years ago, I was reminded of a beautiful lesson by my pets, Charlie and Oliver, my black and yellow lab. Uh, when I was at work, my first business, they would come to work with me every day. And what is so amazing is how pets and children are so much more in tune with the essence of life and life's lessons than we are as adults. So it was one afternoon that I was getting ready to take them on their walk around the office. So I tied their leashes on and as I was about to leave the office, one of the employees called me aside and said there was some emergency upstairs, someone had a quick question. So I looked at them and I thought, okay, it'll be quick. So instead of unleashing them, I just tied their leashes to the handle of the door at the office and I ran upstairs and you know how those quick questions go and I could hear them like barking away. They were upset obviously that they didn't want to stand tied to the door and one thing led to another, you know, they were yanking on the door and barking and barking. By the time I got downstairs, they were gone. Charlie and Oliver bit through their leather leash and it was a thick leather leash they bit through it and freed themselves and they were like running all around the office and so the I guess the lesson that it has taught me and you have to know that in the moment I was very upset with them because I couldn't believe the mess they made and I was like just so upset but now that I have time to think about it, the lesson is that they didn't feel that it was fair to be constrained and tied to a door. So they took action. They actually did something about their situation and he bit through the leash hard enough that he freed himself. And so that kind of applies also to our life because all too often we get into situations where we are giving scenarios in our lives that we feel are not fair and that they limit us or they they're constrain us or you know we're not able to pursue the things that we actually want to do and what happens a lot of times is that we just complain we complain but we accept the situation and do nothing about it so because it's easier it's human nature it's so much cheaper to bitch and complain than to actually take action and do something to change the situation. And so the lesson from my canine, uh, Charlie and Oliver, is that, you know, life is always going to put a leash around us and stick us and tie us to a door. And it's up to us what we're going to do about it. Are we just gonna bark, right? And yank on the door and, and do nothing more? Or are we going to actually take action and bite through that leash so that we can go and pursue the things that we want to do. And given that today is Monday, the first day of the week, let that be your theme. Every day this week, when you are confronted with something that doesn't quite feel right for you or limits the dreams that you have, remember that you have a choice. You can bitch and complain or you can take action. You can actually do something about it. So if you are in a job that you hate and it's hard for you to wake up every morning, do something about it. Go find another job that will inspire you. If you are in a vocation that does not longer excite you and make you want to get up in the morning, go back to school or investigate another venue or something else that you are interested in, but do something about it rather than just sit and complain and accept the situation for what it is. If you are in a relationship that does not longer make you happy or suit your greatest and highest good, do something about it. You know, you can either leave the relationship or 
you could be the change you want to see in all your relationships at home, at work. My point is this, like Oliver, we are given a choice. We can bark or we can bite through that leash of life and free ourselves. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson from my beautiful Charlie and Oliver. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share this message with as many people as you can and help me grow. And I will see you next Monday with another inspirational story and lesson. Thank you.